a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Airtel Airtel is an Indian mobile network operator headquartered in Gurgaon that offers voice and 2G and 3G data services. Maxis Communications holds a 74% stake and Sindhya Securities and Investments holds the remaining 26%. Airtel was founded by China Kanan Siva Sankaran and commenced operations in Tamil Nadu in 1999. It is the sixth largest mobile service provider in India, with a subscriber base of 84.39 million subscribers as of December 2017. Airtel is a market leader in Tamil Nadu and has considerable presence in Odisha, Assam, and Northeast Telecom circles. It has filed for bankruptcy and court. History. Airtel was founded by China Kanan Siva Sankaran and started its operations in the Tamil Nadu Telecom Circle in 1999. It became the leading operator in Tamil Nadu and one of the fastest growing mobile operators in India. Malaysian telecom company Maxis Communications bought a 74% stake in the company from Siva Sankaran in 2005. The remaining 26% stake is held by Sindhya Securities and Investments promoted by Sunita Reddy, Managing Director of Apollo Hospitals. In 2012, as a part of a major reorganization in its operations, the company scaled down its operations in five telecom circles, namely Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Haryana, Kerala, and Punjab. In April 2015, Airsel relaunched its service in Kerala. On 14 September 2016, Reliance Communications and Airtel announced the merger of their mobile network operations. Following the merger, the joint entity was expected to become India's fourth-largest telecom operator in term of consumer base and revenues. A year later, however, both the companies called off the deal citing regulatory and legal issues. Airtel has planned to shut down its operations in unprofitable circles including Gujarat. Maharashtra, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Uttar Pradesh from the 30th of January 2018. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India asked Airtel to report the number of subscribers who have bought it out from Airtel in these six circles. In cases where the porting process could not be completed, Tri has asked the reasons for it. After the failed merger deal with Reliance, Airtel is considering merging with Bharti Airtel whose chairman Sunil Mittal had stated in November 2017 that Airtel was open to acquisition talks. Airtel was under a debt of around on the 21st of February 2018 and the 22nd of February 2018 Airtel services affected in whole of India not only Jammu and Kashmir due to financial issues about 34 lakh subscribers were affected in the state. Airtel committed to resolve these service issues within 3 days but services are started to restore from 23rd itself and by 24th evening all towers being started to function. This is a huge task performed by Airtel to activate their 9000 plus towers across state. Many subscribers requested port out on 22nd and 23rd February due to network issues. 3G On the 19th of May 2010, the 3G Spectrum auction in India ended. Airtel paid 65 billion for Spectrum in 13 circles, Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Jammu and Kashmir, Karnataka, Kerala, Kolkata, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh, Northeast, Odisha, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Up East and West Bengal. It paid 1.44 billion US dollars for the 3G Spectrum. The company has about 5 million 3G customers. Airtel has introduced new price plans for its consumers and are termed to be the cheapest in the country. Following the key players in 3G, Airtel also slashed its 3G tariff. In 2011, Airtel became the launch partner for Apple iPhone 4 along with Bharti Airtel. 4G In June 2010, Airtel paid 34.38 billion for acquiring wireless broadband spectrum in eight circles, Andhra Pradesh. Assam, Bihar, and Jharkhand, Jammu and Kashmir, Northeast, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, and West Bengal. Airtel launched 4G services in Tamil Nadu and Jammu and Kashmir in August 2014, becoming the only private telecom operator to offer all the three existing technologies of 2G. 
3G and 4G in these markets. Chinese equipment maker ZTE announced on 30 December 2013 that it had won a contract to deploy a 4G broadband network based on LTE technology for ASL. The LTE network will be launched in Tamil Nadu and will be expanded later to other circles. On 16 July 2014, it launched 4G services in four circles Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, and Odisha. Business Solutions Aircel Business Solutions, part of Aircel, sells enterprise solutions such as multi-protocol label switching virtual or private networks, voice over internet protocol and managed video services on wireless platforms including WeX. Network Connectivity Aircel offers poor network coverage in Delhi and NCR Circle. It uses radio link timeout technology without which the call drop rates will be significantly higher and many customers reported this. In a 2015 survey conducted by Mint and Instavani in New Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, and Kolkata, it was found that Aircel offers best service among all the telecom providers in the respective cities. Operations Aircel has a subscriber base of over 84.93 million and is India's sixth largest GSM mobile service provider. With presence in 22 circles, Aircel is a market leader in Tamil Nadu and has considerable presence in Odisha, Assam and Northeast circles. In 2012, as a part of a major reorganization in its operations, the company scaled down its operations in five telecom circles, namely Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Haryana, Kerala, and Punjab. In April 2015, Aircel relaunched its service in Kerala. Sponsorship and Brand Ambassadors Aircel is the main shirt sponsor of Indian Premier League cricket team Chennai Super Kings and I-League football team Shillong Lejong FC. Aircel is also the principal sponsor for Atletico de Kolkata FC who play in the Indian Super League football competition. It is also a major sponsor of the Chennai Open ATP tennis tournament and the professional golf tour of India. Aircel also sponsors the Save the Tiger campaign for protecting India's Tigers. The brand ambassadors of Aircel include the Indian cricket team Cap in Mahendra Singh Dhoni and Tamil Actors Surya. Aircel were also engaged with Boxer Mary Com, Tamil Actors Danush and Samir Reddy. Controversies Aircel is being investigated by CBI for alleged irregularities in the Maxis takeover. According to CBI, Aircel's previous owner C. Siva Sankaran was forced to sell his stake to Maxis by the then Telecom Minister Dianidi Moran in 2005 in return for Maxis' investment of Rs. 5 billion in a DTH company owned by the Moran family. There were also rumors in September 2012 that the Russian company Systema was in talks to acquire Aircel which wasn't confirmed by either companies. Aircel was one among seven operators to receive notices from the Department of Telecommunications for not meeting radiation norms in their base tower stations in September 2012. Nearly 9 lakh customers across India on 21 February 2018 tried to port their numbers after facing frequent pull drops. Amidst reports of the company facing financial distress. After several users took to Facebook and Twitter, to express their fear of the company shutting down, Aircel clarified on social media that it is not closing its services, and that users will be notified in advance of any such eventuality. A senior official told the Times of India, the systems are unable to handle the surge. However, we are not going anywhere. It is our responsibility to serve customers till the end. We are devising a way to create manual codes to facilitate the porting process. On 28 February 2018, Aircel filed for bankruptcy at NCLT. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?